Hello, my name is Norma with Mommy's Designs, previously All Things Handmade. In this video, I can promise you that you're going to learn how to make step-by-step -step DIYs, uh, as well as to learn how to price them and how to sell them and where to get each item. Let me get ready and let's get to work. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make these tiles with the image and then the resin. So it's, it is another resin job, as well as at the end of the video, I'm going to do the breakdown so that if you're going to uh, sell them, you know how much to sell them for. This is very, very easy to make. So he, here are the uh, items that you're going to be needing. You're not going to be needing a tile. I purchased these by the piece at Home Depot or Lowe's. And you will be needing your image. In this case, I have other videos where I do resin work and I have used a um, photo paper to print my images. And just remember that whenever you do resin, you have to print your image on an ink jet printer. That's what's going to help you so that the color doesn't run. I printed this in a regular piece of paper as well as this one. And, and this is the, the result of it, okay? So you're gonna be needing your tile. In this case, I'm gonna be making mine on this tile here, just like that, okay? You can add other things like dry flowers. I have a video that I'm gonna be attaching up here that, that uh, teaches you uh, how to dry your flowers naturally without needing any equipment or anything. Anyway, so we're gonna need our tile. We're gonna be needing uh, the the picture that we want. We're gonna be needing, if you're gonna put it on a stand like this, uh, this is how it will look, okay? So your stand, uh, Mod Podge, any Mod Podge that you have, you don't have to uh, get anything special. You are gonna need between one and a half and two ounces of resin. I did, uh, two ounces because I'm gonna be, whatever, with whatever I have left, I'm gonna be doing these flowers and I can do a video about that later. You're gonna be needing some glue, fabric glue. Again, everything, the links are gonna be in the description box. And this is a, uh, this is felt. I got this at Walmart, it's about uh, 12 by nine. So the, the tile that we're gonna be using right now is measures Five, about five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And this one measures about, this is a different shape, almost the same, almost the same, about six inches. So gonna be needing any kind of cup and then some uh, paper towels. And I'm gonna show you why. So right now what we're gonna be doing is make sure that our tile is clean. And then I already have my resin already mixed. So we're gonna go ahead and put Mud Podge, uh, any Mud Podge that you have in the back. And you're just gonna, you can use a brush or you can use your fingers. I mean, come on, it's, it's up to you what, what you wanna do, okay? It doesn't make no difference. So make sure that it's an even coat of the, of the Mud Podge. If you have any uh, any uh, questions, you can follow me on Facebook is, or Instagram and go, and you can go ahead and message me through the messenger on Facebook, um, so I can get your own your answers quickly, quickly, quickly. So here it is. You just need a, an even coat of it. Make sure that it's everywhere. The reason why we use uh, the Mod Podge is because. If you don't, when the resin goes over the picture, uh, the resin starts going under the image and it, and it makes bubbles underneath. And then your image is not even, okay? You see bubbles here and there um, as the resin goes behind the picture. So you're just gonna go like right in the middle, wherever you want it. If you wanna put it like on, on one corner, like up here and then put flowers down here, you can do that too. I did a heart that I used uh, only resin and I, I used 10 ounces of resin. So that was a, um, that was a, a lot of resin. This one, it's not gonna take not even the, 
I don't think it's going to take the two ounces. So here it is. We're going to make sure that it's completely uh, down, padded with your fingers, and make sure that all the edges are completely done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pour your resin right in the middle, right, right in the middle. And let it spread. My resin doesn't have any more bubbles. So. So yay. <laughs> so here it is. You let it spread out give it time so since it's not spreading anymore we're going to add a little more you just have to be you just need to be patient with it i always try not to let it um, go all the way to the edge and, and fall on the floor The less you put a stick or anything in the middle, the better. And we also need to try to make it with only one, one um, layer. Because when you start going layer by layer, it just starts creating a mess. A mess and it's hard also to uh, get it even. So by doing it this way, it's evenly distributing. So at this point, you I can go ahead and start uh, going uh, along the edges where it where it's already reaching the edges. I'm gonna add a little more right here. So this side is already nice and even. So let's go ahead and work on this side. And I think we're gonna need some more to let it spread out. And we start cleaning the sides. See how nice it's looking? So now I'm gonna turn it and I think I'm gonna need to pour a little more on this side. just I already put it all around as you can see and it looks nice and even so I'm just gonna try to get some of the one that is spreading down the, the, the tile I put this board that I replace every so often because I was my table was just like I was ruining my table so at this point all you have to do is just look at it and see if it created any bubbles Pop them, pop them while it's still um, soft. It hasn't started curing yet, otherwise it leaves a mark. So, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the, the glass, whichever one I wanna use, and I'm gonna put it right up here, right in the middle. And if you have, if you have, have the time, you can stay here a little, a little bit, uh, try uh, getting uh, any residue. But you can always take it off when later when you when it's dry. So right now here it's about eleven forty four in the morning. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the final result. So the only thing that we're gonna do is set aside the 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 coffee mug, and we're gonna go ahead and glue our um, our felt on it. So here it is. And I like to go around right on the edges. And all these right here is not gonna show anymore. I spent about an hour sitting here uh, cleaning the resin that it was uh, dropping, all the dropping. So it's nice and almost clean. So I like to put a little more of the glue in the middle. Um, I put this, uh, this cloth in the bottom because I don't want to scratch it. My surface is already uh, 
not uh, the best right now so I put this cloth so basically what we're going to do is put this over it just like that okay and now I'm going to go ahead and cut it this is a very easy project and for me it was fun to do so you can uh, introduce it to your clients and, and sell it or you can make it for your family these are really good uh, birthday presents or uh, Christmas um, you know giving gifting something um, something other than a t-shirt or you know the stuff that we usually buy okay so this project is done this I got at the Dollar Tree so there you go there you go a nice gift for anybody so here's the breakdown that is all for me guys may the Lord bless you today and every day and until next time thank you